What if I told you there was an iOS 11 screen recorder available on the App Store for free and it fixes the audio microphone issues? Let's roll. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. If this is your first time here, my mission on this channel is to help you screen record your iPhones and iPad screens and share them with the world. And I do believe we may have almost a perfect solution to the current iOS 11 screen recording issues. I say perfect, there is one little snag and I'll tell you about that later on. But let's get to the good stuff first. This application is available currently on the App Store and it is called TechSmith Capture. Now, this is a big company. They produce Camtasia, the video editor I use. So this hasn't been snuck onto the App Store. I don't think it's going to get kicked off anytime soon. But my suggestion is get it and download it now while you can and test it out. Once you've installed the application and opened it, you will hit your first minor snag. It does require a TechSmith account. It's completely free and just make sure that you untick receive product updates, but that's all you need to do. There's no financial commitment at this point. Once you've logged in, you can pretty much close down the application for now because the way you start a screen recording through TechSmith screen capture is to do it through the control center. Simply long press or hard press on the current recording button and then you can switch it between camera roll and TechSmith capture. So this is essentially using the same API as the built-in screen recorder but what you're going to see in a few moments is that it stores the video into the TechSmith Capture application instead of into your photo gallery. And that's very important and I'll explain why in a few moments. So for now, we'll start a recording. It says start broadcast, but it's not. It's simply doing a screen recording. And we have a microphone on here, so I'll do some very quick swipes. Go to Clash Royale, try and get some background noises in there so it's picking up a lot of stuff. And now that's enough, we'll go back to the screen recording and we'll stop it. And what will happen at this point is that it doesn't store it to your photo app, it stores it within the TechSmith Capture application, which is right here. So now if I play the video, you should be able to see the screen recording and the usual audio. But all we're really interested in at this point is getting this video outside of this application with the microphone audio intact so that we can import it into another video editor if we want to. To do that, tap share, ignore all of these TechSmith programs, go to more, then save video, and that simply saves the screen recording back into your photo apps. So if I check there, we should now see the screen recording, but we don't need to play it again, we know it works. What we're interested in is how it reacts to iMovies as a video editor, for example. So let's go to iMovies, create project, movie, select the video that we just recorded. And so now the big question is, does it retain the microphone audio as we're playing the video? A screen recording and we have a microphone on here so I'll do some very quick swipes, go to Clash Royale, try and get some background noises in there so it's picking up a lot of stuff and now that's enough we'll go back to the screen recording. So effectively what we have here is a middleman application that takes a slightly broken screen recording with one or two bugs, especially the audio, fixing them and then giving you something that you can use in a video editor or upload to YouTube, which is brilliant. There are a couple of small options such as being able to rotate it, but really this is just an application for fixing current issues with the iOS screen recorder by using the iOS screen recorder itself. Now, I did say there were one or two small caveats. The first was that you need to log in to the application to use it. And secondly, on the application description, it does currently say that this is offered as a free preview, so take advantage while you can. So whether that means that there's gonna be a paywall applied to it at some point, or it's free now if we're lucky, we're not sure. I presume that at some point there's gonna be a paywall behind it. But this solution makes complete sense, and I'm sure another application will come out where it just automatically takes the iOS screen recording and fixes all the bugs within the screen recorder. So yeah, things are looking really up here now. We have the screen recorder video, we have the iOS screen recorder, and now we have this capture application which fixes iOS screen recordings. And who said my channel would be dead when iOS 11 came out? There's still plenty to talk about. 
And I just want to give a shout out to DG Gaming YT who gave me the lead on this. Thank you very much. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Video Gadget Channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.